in the first step towards this project where we are demonstrating how to write your own login form including authentication, change password, forgot password, create user. This will be sufficient to teach you the cycle of an MVC project. In our first step, we are about to set up the database and model annotations so that validations get bound to the data entry forms automatically and we'll also set up the layout file so that the basic plumbing is complete. We'll start this way. We have already created one table for simplicity. You can note down the structure of that table. There is a user email nvarecare50 nvarecare50 and primary key. The second is password where binary 20. This one will store the password in encrypted form. Phone, just one column for phone, nware care 10. You can add more columns, but our purpose is training, so we have added only three columns so that things remain as simple as possible and yet the concepts are clearly stated. After this, we have already added to cut time entity models mod users. This one is already there. We have given it a name called mod users and this is the single table that is participating in our project right now. We haven't added any data to it. This is the starting point, an empty model. This is a mod users, we gave it the name. Let us now start further. The first thing we have to do is put annotations. The purpose of annotations is to ensure that validations are bound to the model definition. That is the basic purpose. That makes it more systematic and more polished. Let us see how to do it. If you open this moduser.tt, you will find two files under it moduser.cs and tbluser.cs. I know that the name of the table is tbluser. So I'll, this is my model that it has been created by the entity framework automatically. User email string, password as a byte string as a phone. For encryption purposes, we are storing password as a byte or where binary, email as a string and phone as a string. This alone is not sufficient. I have to enter annotations on this, but here is a slight problem. This particular file if you see the top of this file is generated automatically. So if I start to annotate these properties, these will be rewritten, overwritten. Once this file is recompiled or the project is rebuilt, this whole story is going to vanish. So I cannot add annotations here. It will be useless. I have to employ a trick of adding annotations so that they remain stable and still remain bound to these properties.